morning, I've read another from the Women's Prize for Fiction long list. And it's this one. Gorgeous cover, isn't it? Um, Black Butterflies by Priscilla Morris. Right, this one is set in the first year of the Siege of Sarajevo. And our main character is Zora. She's a 55-year-old professor of art. She's an artist. And her family have lived in Sarajevo for generations. When war breaks out in 1992, um, she sends her mother and her husband to stay with her daughter and her daughter's family in England, in UK. Um, her mother's not very well, so she wants to make sure her mother's okay. And it's only going to be for a short time. This is what she believes. It's, it's going to be a temporary separation. And in the beginning, Zora makes the most of her freedom. Um, she indulges her love of painting. She's painting these huge landscapes. She's drawn to bridges. And so she's she's enjoying almost the feeling of being alone and being able to paint. And then it, it then it everything increases. The the war gets worse and there's um snipers on the rooftops shooting at people queuing. There's shortages of essentials in the shops that still remain open. And gradually, one by one, the services are cut. There's no electricity. There's no water. And the residents are living, supporting one another. Neighbours are supporting one another, trying to survive, trying to keep warm, share what meagre supplies they've got. And the author gives us quite a harrowing account of what life was like during this siege in this war-torn war city. And you really do feel for Zora as she's trying to contact her family because phone lines are cut. She's got no idea, no way of contacting them. They, she's scared because they don't know whether she's alive or dead. There's no way of getting any communication. The descriptions are brutal at times, but the, the cover gives a clue to the vibrancy in the writing. Zora's an artist and the colour palette shines through the darkness. You're reading these passages and suddenly you get splashes of colour. And as for the black butterflies, when you find out what that's all about, it is quite a poignant moment. But I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to read it. Um, so, yes, it is dark. It is brutal. But with the colour palette, there's hope. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was an excellent read. So, Black Butterflies by Priscilla Morris. Another one that I've ticked off from the Women's Prize long list. So, happy reading. Take care.